Okay, this is Dar Tanbeck at Daz3D.com, sitting at the Carrera Cafe, the delicious cup of espresso. Mm. And they were nice enough to let me haul in my entire workstation and <clears throat> use their Wi-Fi here to connect to the DAS 3D install manager and get some content organized on my computer. So I started off by uninstalling all of my DAS Studio content folder. I also went ahead and uninstalled DAS Studio and the content manager and I started all over from scratch. And I don't think you have to go that far, but um, in order for this install manager to really work wonders, what you really want to do is install all of your content using it. Because then it knows where everything is installed. It has it cataloged into its, its own database. Um, and your content management system within DAS Studio 4.5 Pro, or whatever version of DAS Studio you use, um, that has the content management system hooked up. So here we're looking at the main page. I'm already logged in. You can see my name up here. And I've selected this option right here that selects all of the products. And you can see that I'm not uh, being picky between the Poser or the Daz Studio content. I want to get get everything installed. I have a very large hard drive on my workstation and uh, I am using the default My Daz 3D library that the install manager sets up uh, on its own. Um, I am convinced now that the new library system that Daz 3D has set up is so organized that there is no longer a need to use all of these multiple runtimes uh, that I've been using over the past several years now. And so this thing is just busy going crazy here. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and put it on the ready to install page so you can see why there isn't anything listed here. You'll see uh, um, in just a minute how as soon as something shows up there, how quickly it installs onto the computer. Um, it might have something to, to do with the fact that this machine has eight cores. Um, it does, it's, it's just a very slick device. Gone are the days where I'm going through folders and folders of executable files, double clicking on them and re-clicking all of these little options and check marks and uh, okay now let's take a look here at the very bottom right you see install to where um, I haven't used that button yet because uh, I'm using the default library like I mentioned but now if you follow that straight up to the far upper right you see this gear here that is the configuration settings for the install manager where you can set up uh, your different libraries if you would like to continue with with uh, separate categories and where to install your products to you can also decide to have your installer erased after the ins installation takes place, I like to keep backups of everything even though I don't need it because of this, this install manager is just really slick. Um, I'll always have my content ready at DAS3. Um, you can see how fast this thing is. I mean, and it is just a real pleasure to use. Look at all these things I've got installed already. And now we get into this install tab and You've got your nice alphabetical list of products here, and you can sort, you can change the way they're, they're, they're shown with all of these different options, even order date. Um, I, I, this is just really robust for a, a, a beta. 
Uh, let's let's work our way over to, from left to right. We've got this smart tab or column rather, and if you see a check mark in this column, that means that it works with the smart content within DAS Studio 4.5 as well as the new Carrera 8.5. Uh, currently in beta at the time of this recording and moving over well while we're on that subject for these products that don't have the check mark next to them some of those are just because they're poser files and there is a check mark for the DAS studio version of it um, but if if a product doesn't have any smart content for it at all um, here's here's where you can come and look and find out why it's not showing up in your smart content tab and realize that you'll just have to uh, go and find it on your own. Now if you do have to find it and you're not sure where to look, let's look at this next column. The little I. Uh, you click that and it opens up the README file for that particular product. And if you're not familiar with DAS 3D README files, they all include a little link on them called file list and by clicking on that it will give you all of the information on where it is installed on your computer very handy dandy and, and um, we've always had that handy bit of information but we've never before had this uh, beautiful little alphabetical search by name way of of accessing that information before so this this utility is just fantastic and of course working over the next column you can uninstall whatever you have and the, the little arrow to the right of it um, allows you to uh, select and deselect I'm not exactly sure what's what that's for I'm sure going to the uh, information page at DAS3D.com, we'll clear that up. But uh, there's my little overview on the DAS Install Manager. And you can see how busy it is, and it's gonna be busy for a little bit, but uh, not nearly as busy as I used to be when I would have to do all of this by hand. This is a very, very handy way of being able to access and manage all of my content, all with a free download from DAS3D. Okay, here is where we can see the information page for the DAS 3D Install Manager. And this is where you go to download this wonderful utility. They have got a separate download for Mac and Windows. Um, but most importantly, they have a really nice pile of information that you can find out about this thing way before you ever get involved in it. Um, here we've got a great uh, array of nice little short videos that you can watch uh, depending on whether you're new to installing content, whether you're about to do a fresh start like what I just did. Um, or if you already have a good thing going and you'd want to use the install manager to utilize your current system and these little videos are great little guided tours but then we get down to this uh, wonderful little frequently answered questions area and it starts off with how do I download my purchased items from my account and it goes on and it has a really nice explanation as to why and, the, and a nice link to the actual reference guide itself. Um, in my uh, the, the Carrera information thread back at DAS 3D, uh, I have a little write-up on this with all of these links as well. Uh, next question. Why is my screen not showing my most recent stuff? Click on there and it uh, guides you through uh, how and where do I set up my download locations. And it goes through very much like I explained, ex 
except I've got that I've I got that information from this page. I didn't uh, I haven't actually tried it yet. Um, how do I sort and filter my content? And this is uh, uh, also has a link to advanced filtering, but just the basic filtering options that are available from that tab are really sweet. But uh, you know, if you need more options than that, there is this advanced filtering um, README that you can access from this page. So um, it's not only for downloading, but also for researching and finding out whether this thing is for you. So once again, this is Dartan Beck at daz3d.com signing out.